Chris here with Chapman's Karate Dojo and welcome back to our channel where you can learn karate from the comfort of your own home. Let's get started. For today's workout we're going to work on some conditioning and, and, and some techniques that will help you be more fluid and stronger with your, your movements. So uh, we're going to start off with some squats and side kicks. So I'm going to start my feet apart, keep my hands up and I'm going to be looking in one direction and we're going to do a squat and side kick 10 times on the on your left side and then 10 times on your right side. All right, so hands are up. We're gonna be looking this way. We're gonna squat and as we push up, we're gonna lean and kick. All right, so this will be developing your, 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 your thighs and pushing out will be working your, your side kick so that we're more fluid. All right, so we're gonna do 10 on the left, 10 on the right, ready? And down, one, and you wanna pop that side kick. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And notice when I kick, I'm leaning my head back opposite from my foot. All right, we're gonna go to the other side. Ready? And down. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And to start pushing yourself uh, past your limits, I try to do this maybe a second set or maybe even a third set if it started to get too easy for you. Okay, for the next workout, we're going to be working on our pyramid kicking. Uh, so basically, I'm going to get into a fighting stance. We're going to work on the front round kick, so the top of the foot where your shoelaces would be. All right, so I'm going to throw my leg back with the chamber, kick, put it down. And what I'm going to do in between the kicks, switch one time, switch a second time. And notice I keep my eyes forward, so I'm not spinning around. And I'm going to put my leg up for two kicks. One, two, put it down. So we're going to keep building it up, right? Switch, switch. Up to three kicks. One, two, three. All right, so this is going to be helping your balance and conditioning your kicks to see how much you can do. So we're going to start down with one kick, build it up to five kicks, and then back down to one kick. All right, so that's why we call it a pyramid kicking drill. All right, so already hands are up. We're going to go one kick, and then we're going to switch, switch. Two kicks. One, two. Switch, switch, three kicks. One, two, three. And switch, switch, four kicks. One, two, three, four. And switch, switch, five kicks. One, two, three, four, five. And down, switch, switch. Going downwards to four kicks. One, two, three, four. Switch, switch, three. One, two, three. Switch, switch, double. One, two. And switch, switch to last kick. One. And this way, one, we're learning on mobility to switch and holding our balance and conditioning our legs to get faster and stronger uh, with that one kicking leg. All right, moving on to the other side. So we've got to use both legs so that we can get evenly good. All right, so we're going to get into your righty, fight, right fighting stance. All right, hands are up. Ready to lean back. One. All right, we're going to switch, switch. Two kicks, one, two, switch, switch, three kicks, one, two, three, switch, switch, up to four, one, two, three, four, and switch, switch, last highest number, one, two, three, four, five, good, switch, switch, four kicks, two, three, four, switch, switch, three kicks, one, two, three, and switch, switch, two, two, and last one, one kick. Now, as you get better with this, uh, people that get more advanced, you can go from five kicks, maybe move it up to eight, move it up to 10. And that's a good number to kind of really get some good kicking in to develop your kicks and get a lot better and a lot faster. Now, for you guys that do have a bag at home or in your own dojo, uh, this is a good way to, to kind of use a bag to your advantage. 
All right, so we can do the pyramid kicking on the bag. So I'm gonna take a fighting stance. We're gonna do that round kick. So one kick, switch, switch, two kicks. All right, switch, switch, three kicks. One, two, three. Switch, switch, four kicks. One, two, three, four. And switch, last one. Five, two, three, four, five. And back down. One, two, three, four. Switch, switch. One, two, three. Switch, switch. Two. And last one. All right, so for you guys that do have a bag at home um, or at the, your dojo, it's a good way to, to work out some of your kicks to actually have a target to hit and make contact with. So um, using a bag or even a partner that may just put their hand up and you can just target the hand would be another good uh, partner drill for your, uh, the pyramid kicking workout. Now that we're finished with our pyramid kicking, we're gonna do a pyramid punching. So um, what I wanna give you guys a tip is making sure you take the time. It's not how fast you can do it, it's the repetitions of how correct you can do the technique. So when we do our punches, make sure the arm is long, okay? Uh, and we're gonna be doing a forward push. I'm gonna face this way so I can move forward and move back, all right? So instead of the, the switch switch, we're moving forward and back. So I'm gonna start right here. Forward, one punch, down. Ready? Forward, two punches, and back. All right, so again, we're gonna start with the one punch, move it up to five, and back down to one. All right, and notice, I'm gonna try to extend as much as I can with those punches, so that when I do punch fast, it's not, not short and, 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 you know, not extended, and making sure it's reaching a target that I'm trying to, to make contact with, okay? So already hands are up, forward, one, come back. Two punches, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, back. Now going back down the pyramid, ready? Four, one, two, three, four, three punches, one, two, three, back, two punches, one, two, and last one, one, and come back. Moving on to the other side, ready? So getting your fighting stance, we're gonna be pushing this way, we're gonna do five, one to five to one. Ready? Forward, one, long arm, put it back. Two punches, one, two, three, two, three, four, two, three, four. Bring it back, and five, one, two, three, four, five. And going down the pyramid, ready? Four punches, one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, two, one, two, and bring it back, last one, one, and back. Now, just like the kicking uh, drills, if you have a bag available for you, uh, you can definitely try this on the bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start far so that I have motion to move forward and make sure it's long. So what I don't wanna do is make sure I'm very short because this is what we don't wanna work. All right, we wanna work on the long distance and making sure your arms are long, okay? So make sure your hands are up. Every time you punch, make sure your hands are up and come back. All right, so I'm gonna go with the distance. We're gonna go with the pyramid from one to five to one again. Ready, so forward, one, bring it back. Two punches, one, two, put it back. Three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Back to four, ready? One, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, two, one, two, and one, one. All right, so using something there that you could contact uh, with your punches and making sure you're really extending those punches so that we're not super close to our partner or opponent. All right, so that's a good drill to make sure we have fluidity in our punches. And again, you can go from one all the way to 10, back down to one for a little bit better of a workout. Thank you guys for watching. And if you enjoyed today's lesson, Please don't forget to like, subscribe, or even leave a comment down below and tell us what your thoughts are on today's lesson. See you guys next time.